small knobs of corn on the cob boiled up in a rich milk and butter bath brushed with an herbed garlic mayo? No, seriously, wait until you try our butter and milk boiled corn. Prepare to have your family and friends run to the table when you serve this very delicious dish that you can serve uh, next to your favorite main course or as a standalone, perfect for an afternoon get together. There are only two key tips to making the recipe, but make sure you watch to the very end because we have a special little bonus that makes it even more enjoyable. Now to get started, how about tip number one, preparing the corn. To begin, we're gonna shuck away the leaves and silk, and then you can crack off the shank of each ear of corn. Next, we're over to a cutting board, grab an excellent and sharp knife, trim away the tip, give the ear a spin, and then trim away that bottom. Now we're going to cut each cob into one to one and a half inch sections. We're doing six ears of corn today. That's gonna be about 36 little cob knobs in total. Wait, did you catch that, cob knobs? That's what we're affectionately calling it up here in cottage country, and my friends do call for it by name. Hey Nick, are we having cob knobs this weekend? Absolutely. Our second important tip is all about a butter and milk bath for the corn. Watch this. A large soup pot goes onto stove top. We're adding eight cups of water, plus one tablespoon of granulated sugar and a teaspoon of kosher salt. Stir to dissolve the sugar and salt. We're gonna turn the stove to a moderate high heat. When the liquid gets kinda hot and steamy, we're adding four cups of whole milk plus one stick of butter. Let the butter melt, and when it does, we're adding the corn. You'll see something fantastically delicious happens when corn on the cob cooks in a liquid that contains milk and butter. It just kinda all makes sense, right? So does this, where we bring the mixture to a boil. As soon as it does, temperature reduces to medium and the corn cooks in that simmering liquid for six minutes. Bonus, an unexpected little saucy moment to go with this corn on the cob recipe. Melt six tablespoons of butter in a little saucepan, then to your work surface, I'm adding half a cup of a favorite mayonnaise into the canister of an immersion blender. Then we're adding the melted butter, two cloves of garlic chopped, half a teaspoon of kosher salt, and one tablespoon of freshly squeezed lemon juice. Zip it up, it's gonna get light, emulsified, then right at the end, just stir in a quarter cup of chopped chives. That sauce is ready in like five minutes, which is perfect, cause so's the corn. The sauce goes into a little bowl with a basting brush on the side. Corn goes from pot into a big bowl. You can brush those little cob knobs with the herbed garlic mayo, and it's hot and buttery and melty. Our butter and milk boiled corn is pretty perfect. Remember, you can serve it next to your favorite main course or just place a bowl out as an afternoon treat. One thing to mention, they do disappear pretty quick. Fair warning. Uh, one thing that is not disappearing though is the full recipe. You'll find that up at weekendatthecottage.com. A reminder to please subscribe to our website and also to this YouTube channel. And then finally, we're a pretty social bunch here at Weekend at the Cottage, so look for us on your favorite socials like Pinterest, Instagram, and Facebook. Butter and milk boiled corn with herbed garlic mayo? Cute as a button. Mmm. Mmm. Mighty tasty too. Enjoy. Hmm.